What's up guys, Chris Blevins here. Welcome back to the channel. This week's video, we're gonna take a look at a big black sea bass that I caught a while back and it uh, ended up almost flipping me when it was next to the boat. Uh, had a little bit of a technical malfunction and uh, the fish broke my rod holder. I luckily saved the rod as it was sinking out and uh, was able to land the fish and release it safely. But man, it was a close call. Almost flipped my boat, almost lost my gear. Okay, so here I'm hooked into a nice yellowtail. These boats around me are on the anchor, so I need to fight this fish pretty hard. I need to horse it up. I'm fishing 50 pound mono top shot. So I really need to put a lot of pressure on this fish to keep it from heading into these anchor lines. Um, as it's running toward the structure, I'm trying to pull my boat over the top of it, trying to maintain like a vertical pressure on the fish. Um, and here I'm kind of sliding over the top of it. Soon we'll get it here right underneath the boat and it'll be circling up for the finish. again only this time we're in a little shallower closer to the structure closer to the kelp also this fish is feeling a little heavier that's probably why you see the smirk on my face all right so here we're sliding along parallel with where all these boats are anchored okay I'm really using the rudder pushing hard to the left to avoid this fish from pulling me closer to those boats so I'm pushing putting pressure on this fish using my rudder as I'm fighting it. Here we can see that it's doing its first circle. It's doing a big circle to the right. I know right here that I'm getting over the top of it and I'm starting to put pressure on it. You can see I had a little slack in the line, but reeled in fast through it. Now I'm directly over the fish. All right, I can feel it straight up and down. It's time to bring it up for the end. Still don't know what it is. At this point, I'm thinking it still could be a game fish. sized black sea bass I don't know maybe 50 or 60 pounds something like that um, he's hooked nicely in the corner of the mouth so put my clicker on I'm gonna open up my spool put it in the rod holder and this is where things start to go haywire so I've got my leader in hand I've got my pliers ready to unhook the fish, but I've got a problem and I'm not noticing it. If you look at my reel, you'll see that there's a loop of line and there's a backlash on there. So this is bad because even though my reel is out of gear and clicker's on, the line can still get caught on that loop. So that could backlash as the fish is running and cause the line to break. So that's one problem. All right, so as I'm kind of fumbling here, trying to get the hook out, the fish is still pretty green. He's pretty angry, and 
he's going to give me a little run here. So as I'm fumbling with this, I've got another problem that I'm not noticing. And that is that the line is wrapped around the tip of my rod. So let's take a look in slow-mo here as I'm fumbling with the leader, the fish gets its head down, goes on a run straight downwards. I have a backlash on my spool and the line is wrapped around the rod tip. I can tell because you can see the slack in the line here. As the rod's bending, there's still slack on my line. That means that there's a loop around the tip of my rod. And the fish is unable to take line and that's what happens. So the rod holder breaks. Somehow I grabbed it, got it back in hand. You can see the loop came off the, the tip and uh, now the fish is free to reel back up. Man, it's close. checking out the video man it's pretty crazy uh, definitely want to uh, follow some of those tips to safely land those big fish and make sure that you don't flip and lose all your gear like almost like I almost did <laughs> so anyway if you guys like that video uh, go ahead and leave me a comment if you want ask me any questions you'd like um, if you guys haven't already subscribed to the channel do me a favor and please subscribe it would really help me out see you at the launch